The United National Party, often abbreviated as UNP Sinhalese, translate. Exith Jaithika Pakshaya, Tamil, Ikea Tekiat Kachi translate. Ikea Tekiat Kachi, is a political party in Sri Lanka. It currently is the main ruling party in the government of Sri Lanka and is headed by Ranil Wickremesinghe. The UNP is considered to have right-leaning, pro-capitalist, and liberal conservative policies. At the last legislative elections in Sri Lanka, held on August 17, 2015, the UNP was the leading member of the coalition United National Front for Good Governance UNFGG, which won 106 seats, an increase of 46 since the 2010 election, and 45.66% of the popular vote. It beat the United People's Freedom Alliance, a left-leaning coalition, which won 44.38% of the vote. The front held a majority in parliament with the support of some UPFA members and made Ranil Wickremesinghe prime minister. The UNP had previously been the governing party or in the governing coalition from 1947 to 1956, from 1965 to 1970, from 1977 to 1994 and 2001 to 2004. In total, the UNP governed Sri Lanka formerly known as Ceylon for 38 of 69 years of its independent history. The UNP also had control of the executive presidency from the presidency's formation in 1978 to 1994. The UNP is a conservative party to the right of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, favoring a more neo-liberal market-oriented economy. The UNP is also member of the International Democrat Union. Topic: History Topic. Founding The UNP was founded on 6 September 1946 by amalgamating three right-leaning pro-Dominion parties from the majority Sinhalese community and minority Tamil and Muslim communities. It was founded by Don Stephen Sananayaki, who was in the forefront in the struggle for independence from the United Kingdom, having resigned from the Ceylon National Congress because he disagreed with its revised aim of the achieving of freedom from the British Empire. The UNP represented the business community and the landed gentry. However, Sananayaki also adopted populist policies that made the party accepted in the grassroots level. Due to his agricultural policies, many landless people were relocated to fertile dry zone which was covered in a thick jungle and new agricultural colonies were built which resulted in Sri Lankan agricultural production rising ds. Sananayaki is considered the father of the nation. After independence he refused a knighthood but maintained good relations with Britain and was a privy council. He launched major irrigation and hydropower projects such as the Gal Oya project, Udawalawa tank, Sananayaka tank and several other multipurpose projects were launched during this period. He also renovated historic sites in Anuradhapura and Palanarua. He also played a major role in the Colombo Plan however, his government proceeded to disenfranchise the plantation workers of Indian descent, the Indian Tamils, using the Ceylon Citizenship Act of 1948 and the Parliamentary Elections Amendment Act of 1949. These measures were intended primarily to undermine the left electorally. <laughs> Split In 1952 Prime Minister Sananayaki died in a riding accident, and his son Dudley became Prime Minister. This irked long-standing UNP stalwart SWRD. Bandaranayaka, a Buddhist nationalist leader known for his centre-left views. Bandaranayaka quit the party to found the Sri Lanka Freedom Party as a balancing force between the UNP and Marxist parties. During Dudley Sananayaki launched several projects to further develop the agricultural sector and was termed Bath Dun Pia father who offered free rice to the nation. Bathalagoda Paddy Research Center, Thalawakele T Research Center, Lunawila Coconut Research Center was created by him to further develop the agricultural sector and he also founded the Moratua University, Ampara Higher Technology Institution and many technical colleges, see Amencement of the Bhikkhu University and the Declaration of the Poya Day as a government holiday were also done during this period. In 1953 the UNP attempted to reduce the rice ration and there was a hurdle, which caused Dudley Sananayaki to resign. 
He was replaced by his cousin, Major John Katelawala who launched several major power generation and infrastructure projects such as the Lakshapana Hydro Power Project, Bambalapitiya Housing Project which provided houses to the homeless, modernizing of the Ratmalana Airport, construction of the Kalania Bridge and others, including the development of Buddhist religious sites. There was growing disaffection with the UNP particularly because of its support of minority religious groups, most notably Catholics, to the consternation of the predominant Prominently Buddhist Sinhalese. Bandaranayaka was able to take advantage and lead the SLFP to victory in the 1956 elections. Soon afterwards, he passed the controversial Sinhala Only Act, which led to communal clashes in 1958. The UNP again came to power in 1965 in coalition with the Mahajana Exith Paramuna, the Tamil ethnic federal party under Dudley Sananayaki, but it lost in a 1970 landslide to the SLFP, which had formed an electoral alliance with Marxist parties known as the United Front. A bitter leadership battle soon developed between the populist Dudley Sananayaki and the more conservative J. R. Jaywardine, a strong supporter of free market policies and a pro American foreign policy. For the latter, he was called Yankee Dicky. Topic: <inaudible> Jayawadeen era. After Dudley Sananayaki's death in 1973, J.R. Jaywardeen became leader of the UNP and started reorganizing the party at the grassroots level. General disaffection with the economic policies of the United Front Coalition and its brutal crackdown against a 1971 Maoist insurrection by the JVP, as well as promise to provide each person with a free ration of 8 kg of cereal, brought the UNP to power in 1977. The party won an unprecedented five-sixths of the seats in Parliament. J. R. Jaywardeen got himself elected executive president by parliament and, in 1978, introduced a new constitution which incidentally first called the country a democratic socialist republic transforming the presidency into an executive post with sweeping powers. The UNP opened up the economy and revolutionized the entire outlook of the country. Free trade zones such as in Kaltunayaka and Bayagama were established in order to generate employment which resulted in leading international companies investing in Sri Lanka. The government undertook massive development work to promote hydroelectricity and agriculture. Reservoirs were built at Victoria, Randanigala, Rantambi and Kotmail while Midaru Oya and Lunagamwayara reservoirs were reconstructed. He awarded Swarnabhumi land deeds to people and established administration centers such as Isarupaya and Sethsirupaya to create the new administrative capital in Sri Jayawardhanapua Kote where a new parliament building was constructed school children were provided with free school books and launched the Mahapola scholarship program and information technology subject was introduced to schools. He created the University of Ruhuna and the Eastern University as well as the medical faculty of the Jaffna University. Bandaranayaki International Airport was modernized and Air Lanka was created. He also modernized the military to a capable fighting force, also created the Special Task Force. By 1987, the Sri Lankan military had cornered the LTTE in Jaffna, on the tip of the island, and were confident of bringing an end to the conflict. However, due to internal pressure, specifically concern about the 50 million Tamils living in India, the Indian government called for a halt to the offensive. After the request was snubbed by Sri Lanka, the Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi ordered a flotilla of ships be sent to relieve the LTTE. After the convoy was blocked by the Sri Lanka Navy, India instead chose to airdrop supplies to the besieged city in a mission codenamed Operation Poamalai. Topic. Primadasa era Jaywardeen retired in 1988 and was succeeded by Prime Minister Ranasinghe Primadasa, a populist leader from the lower class known for his anti-Indian sentiment. During his time he launched the Million Houses Program to provide houses for the homeless and started the Village Reawakening Movement Gam Udawa to develop ignored rural areas across the country. President Primadas's successful people-oriented programs include the Janasavya, the Garment Factories Program, decentralization of the administration to divisional secretariats. 
He also created the National Housing Development Authority, Urban Development Authority, Central Environmental Authority, Janasavia Trust Fund, Housing Development Finance Corporation, and the Institute for Construction Training and Development. Despite the developments, most his political enemies disappeared during his reign, most notably the journalist Richard de Zoysia. In 1993, Primadasa was assassinated by separatist LTTE suicide cadres at a May Day rally. Topic: Vikram Singh era. Opposition 1994 to 2001. In the 1994 election, the People's Alliance gained control of parliament after 17 years of unbroken UNP rule. While in opposition, many of UNP stalwarts were killed by an LTTE suicide terrorist attack during an election rally, which saw the assassination of Gamini Dasanayake, the UNP's presidential candidate. This paved the way for an easy victory for Chandrika Kumaratunga of the SLFP. Party leadership passed to Jaywardine's nephew, Ranil Wickramasinghe, a relatively young politician with pro West views and penchant for neo liberal economic policies. Topic: 21st century. In government 2001 to 2004, by 2001 the country was facing the worst economic downturn since independence, with rising inflation and an acute power crisis. The GDP was shrinking by 2.5%. The SLFP government fell on a no-confidence motion by the opposition, which prompted President Kumaratunga to call for early elections. Wickaramasinghe managed to secure the support of former government big wigs most notably former Kumaratunga confidants, Prof. G. L. Pierce and S. B. Dasanayake who would later become important members in the party. The UNP easily came to power in the 2001 election in a platform of peace with LTTE and economic resurgence, and won all but one district in the country. Wickramasinghe became the prime minister for the second time following the election and began a cohabitational government with President Kumaratunga. Within two months into his premiership Wickram Singhi signed a pivotal ceasefire agreement with the LTTE. The agreement was followed by intense peace negotiations towards a solution to the ethnic conflict. During Elam War III, which followed as the negotiations were not yet complete, the LTTE proceeded to regain territories that it had lost before. The UNP government maintained strict fiscal discipline and market-friendly policies, which led to a resurgence in the economy, large-scale investments, and rapid economic growth. The government created key economic institutions such as the Board of Investment, the Ministry for Small and Rural Enterprises, and the Information Communication Technology Agency. Economic growth continued to accelerate, reaching almost 6% at the end of 2003, while inflation was at less than 2%, and ALLP EMA low. Many local and foreign experts believed that Sri Lanka at current pace would reach double-digit economic growth within a few years. Unfortunately for Wickram Singhi and the UNP government, constant ceasefire breaches by the LTTE, including the constant stream of assassinations of military spies, paved the way for nationalistic factions such as the JVP and its other cover organizations such as the Disha Hithaishi Jaithika Vyaparaya Patriotic National Movement to organize protests. They tried to convince the public that Wickram Singhi was giving too much away to the LTTE. Hardline Sinhalese Buddhist organizations such as the Sahala Urumaya Sinhalese Heritage criticized the government on the same lines, and also for allegedly pandering to Western evangelical Christian organizations and thereby encouraging proselytizing and endangering Buddhism. The Sahala Urumaya would later rename themselves as Jaithika Hila Urumaya National Sinhalese Heritage and put forward Buddhist monks to contest elections. In late 2003 the president took over the National Lotteries Board. The UNP blocked this move by surrounding the government press so that the Gazette could not be printed. As a retaliatory move the President then took over the Ministries of Mass Communications, Defense, and the Ministry of Internal Affairs, while Prime Minister Wickram Singhi was visiting George W. Bush in Washington, D.C. Kumaratunga and her confidants launched a massive media attack on their nominal partners, branding Wickram Singhi as a traitor and accusing the UNP government of selling national heritage sites to foreigners. 
Opposition 2004 to 2015. Early in 2004, the SLFP and JVP formed the United People's Freedom Alliance (UPFA), signaling the beginning of the end for the UNP government. In February 2004, within 24 hours of a well-rehearsed speech for national unity, Kumaratunga dissolved parliament. In the subsequent election on the 2nd of April 2004, the UNP was defeated by the UPFA. Wickram Singhi remained as leader of the UNP. In the presidential election of 17 November, its candidate, Ranil Wickram Singhi, came second with 48.43% of the vote. So it resulted in a defeat and a win for the UPFA candidate Mahinda Rajapaksi. It is widely believed that if not for the boycott of the polls in the north and parts of the east, allegedly due to LTTE intimidation, Wickram Singh would have won. It has been apparent however that Ranil Wickramsinghe, although winning the support of the minority communities Tamils and Muslims, he was unable to gain the trust of the bulk of the majority Sinhalese community. In early 2007, 18 senior members of the UNP joined President Mahinda Rajapaksi's ruling coalition. All of them were given ministerial positions. This resulted in a state of political unrest, as the Memorandum of Understanding Mo signed between the President and the UNP leader in late 2006 was read as no longer valid. This incident, generally recorded in the press as crossovers, also resulted in a state where a number of senior government ministers expressed concern over the jumbo cabinet of ministers. On Friday 9 February 2007, the President sacked three ministers for their remarks against the new political configuration. UNP and 12 other opposition parties in the Parliament of Sri Lanka, signed an opposition alliance 3 November 2009 in the Sri Lankan Parliament building. After winning 30-year-old war against LTTE in 2009, President Rajapaksi called for an early presidential election in 2010. UNP and JVP backed General Sarath Fonseca as presidential candidate. This was the first time UNP backed a non-UNP member as a presidential candidate. However, President Rajapaksi won the election with 57.88% of the popular vote. Then, in April, President Rajapaksi called for a general election and UPFA won a majority of 144 seat while UNF received 60 seats. In government 2015 -present, President Rajapaksa, seeking his third term called for an early election in 2015. UNP and several other parties backed SLFP S General Secretary and Health Minister of Rajapaksa Cabinet, Maithrapala Sirasena as common candidate. Sirasena emerged victorious with 51.28% of the popular vote, which saw a record turnout of 81.52%. Very next day, President Maithrapala Sirasena swore in as sixth executive president while Ranil Wickramsinghe swore in as prime minister for the third time in his political career. Over 70% of the ministerial post in the cabinet went to UNP. Minister Lakshman Kiriela was appointed the leader of the House. After 14 days the new government presented a budget in Parliament to give several benefits including a 10,000 rupees pay hike and reduce prices in 13 goods. The National Medicine Regulatory Authority Bill, which was tabled in Parliament was passed with amendments in Parliament with a majority of 67 votes. A total of 68 members of Parliament MPs voted in favour of the bill while only independent MP Ajit Kumara voted against. The bill will provide for the establishment of a regulatory authority to be known as the National Medicines Regulatory Authority, the Gazette notification on the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, which was approved by the Cabinet at an emergency Cabinet meeting on March 16, 2015. The party won the highest numbers of seats 106 in the 2015 general elections to retain the power and leader Ranil Wickramasinghe was appointed as the 16th Prime Minister of Sri Lanka on 21 August 2015. United National Party also signed a MO with Sri Lanka Freedom Party for a national unity government on the same day that gave Mr Wickramasinghe to appoint his cabinet from both parties. National Unity Government Formation 
On 20 August 2015, the major political parties United National Party and Sri Lanka Freedom Party have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to form the national government in order to address burning issues in the island, which were not resolved after end of 30-year ethnic conflict. President Sirisena's Sri Lanka Freedom Party and Prime Minister Wickram Singhe's United National Party have agreed to form a national government for at least two years to resolve serious issues in the island. On 3 September 2015, Prime Minister Minister Wickram Singhe presented motion to exceed the limitation imposed on cabinet and non-cabinet ministers to the parliament. According to 19th Amendment the cabinet cannot exceed limit of 30 ministers, thereby in an event of forming the national government. The 19th Amendment permits the government seek parliament approval to bypass such a restrictions. The motion received 143 in favor, 16 against, and 63 absent. The parliament approved the increase of cabinet ministers to 48 and non-cabinet to 45. On 9 September 2015, President Sirisena and Prime Minister Wickram Singhe has formed the national government with total of 46 ministers, 19 state ministers and 22 deputy ministers were sworn in before the president and this is the first time in Sri Lanka's political history that the two major parties functions as one unity government since independence. Topic: 2018 local election United National Party suffered shocking defeat in the 2018 local authority elections. They were only able to secure 34 councils out of 340 total councils while Mahinda Rajapaksa's proxy Sri Lanka Podajana Paramuna won 231 councils. E-membership On June 23, 2016 for the first time in Sri Lanka's political history, the party launched its e-membership program. Party plans to increase membership by 20% with the support from Google Play and Apple Store online apps. Electoral history Presidential Topic Parliamentary Topic Leaders Party had seven leaders from nineteen forty seven up to now. Prime Minister Ranil Wickram Singhe is the current leader of the party since 1994. <laughs> Notes <laughs>